If you're watching this video, that means our house is officially sold. We lived here for about three and a half years, and we're already trying to move. Yeah. So. Three babies, adopted two dogs from a rescue, <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> we bought a truck, we bought a van, we sold a car. Now we're selling the house. So this video, we're gonna try to remember our life in this house. We're gonna walk through and try to tell some stories. And so we always have it on film. And we can watch it later when the kids are older. Cause we're all gonna have Alzheimer's and we're not gonna remember anything. So <laughs> <laughs> when we started out, this house was yellow. Yeah. It was a uh, foreclosure. So it had a lot of cosmetic issues. So there was no major structural issues, just a lot of, it was, nasty it was really gross inside. I don't know, maybe we could get the old pictures and bring them up so then you guys could see them, but we did a lot of cosmetic work to this house to make it a lot nicer. Put a lot of love in. Yeah, so like I said, the house is yellow. This is the same roof that just had some tiles that slid down, but Kayla spent a lot of time sitting here on this porch. Our flower beds falling apart because sold the house we're not taking care of it anymore here's Kayla's favorite coffee spot Four kids it was. Now in the backyard. <laughs> yeah now she spends a lot of time in the backyard and our house is a disaster our house is messy but that's real life so <laughs> it's okay uh, then we never even fixed this door so this is broken the only thing we had is this dead bolt that locked the door and now we're selling it the same way when we moved in, I think this is like an avocado green wall, this this one. What color was this wall? These were like mustardy and this one Oh yeah, like a mustard yellow. This was the first thing we ever did in this house, was make this little wall. The first thing that we hung. And then we hung that. The Wayne Scotting came after. We ended up having a pipe break over here in the kitchen. The back behind the sink and it ruined all these walls. So then with the extra money from the insurance, my, me and my dad put uh, all this wainscoting in. My dad did all this work around the windows. I painted up in there to make it a little bit better. But he did all this fancy work that the new people buying the house are gonna get to enjoy now. Did all that. And when we first came in, we had some nasty chandeliers. We changed those out with these little cheap ones from Home Depot. And we had like an old oak table, I guess. It was super heavy, we got off, off her up. And I had a, the ladder going from the table all the way up to the ceiling. Oh and it was gosh, hanging yes. off. So I put all these lights up by myself, super dangerously, but we got it done. Bought all new blinds when we first moved in. They had, they're either missing or like destroyed. So it's pretty crazy that we're selling all this stuff. This shelf is from my parents' house from a long time ago and they gave it to us, so we're gonna definitely take that with us. When we bought this kitchen, it had like the old fashioned cabinets, so we ended up taking all that out and we're lucky because it had black mold behind there, we didn't even know. We ended up putting all these new cabinets in. Again, me and my dad put this floor in for Mother's Day, but Kayla said I did it for myself. So, I guess it doesn't count as a gift. The house came with all these speakers in the ceiling, all these lights. So they had these big, huge, uh, all this big crown molding, and we didn't know why, we took it down. And it ended up being all the wires going through the roof right here, run all the way down here. And then they go down the stairs, and then that's where the wires are at back here. So we ended up having to do all new crown molding again. Cause when I, I think I ripped this side down first and didn't know, and then we found out after that side was all the wiring. 
And we bought the house, there's a shotgun hole behind this uh, clock that we have here, it's hiding. So you can see, we had it patched, so it's kind of hard, but this whole area is the patch. I guess the old owner that had it was cleaning a shotgun and shot one through the wall. A little tiny bathroom. Colton's just trying to learn how to poop in here. So maybe he'll learn how to poop in a toilet at the new rental. Yeah, he will. He's ready. Yeah. He told us he needs to go. Here's our laundry room. This might be boring to watch, but for us later, this will be nice to see yeah. when we're old, all the different changes that this house went through. It was so gross in here. The carpet was destroyed. Chunks of carpet missing. There's like dog pee everywhere. So we changed out all this carpet. And Kayla painted this banister. That was kind of a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember if it was, the stairs were a different color. They were just faded white. And then faded. we tried staining the brown part, but it didn't really it ended up coming out like the same color. Yeah, we should have put more stain. I don't, we don't have any experience doing this stuff, so we're just trying to do it on our own. But we did it when all the carpet was out. We sanded everything and then painted it. Came out good enough. Here's the wall of fame. It was nursing. My academy pictures and all that. We gotta do that again in the new house. I wanted to put a big, huge American flag up here, but we never got to it. So when we move out of state, hopefully. I'm gonna do the wall how I wanted. <laughs> the master bedroom. Carpet's nice. <clears throat> so this is the big closet. My closet. Kayla's closet. It's pretty big. Hey, you don't want to be happy about the windows. At least they weren't such pigs that it uh, Here's my little stinks. poop closet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really surprised that it smells like animals in here. Yeah, it's actually got, unless it's got a poop light or something. These doors are sitting in the rafters. It's a big, it's a big bathtub. Yeah. There's two ways you can go rip it out and re-put it back in. It's a lot of work because you got to see right here, it actually sticks behind the drywall. Yeah, so you got to cut like this, take the whole thing out. Probably could, well it's not tight for one thing. Then this is Bruce's favorite spot to lay. You can tell about the little dirty area. Come huh, Bruce, that's where you like to sleep. Yeah. Here's Logan. Look at that hair, boy. Crazy hair. Colton learned how to walk up the stairs here. He learned how to crawl, walk. Everything. Yeah. All his new foods that he tried when he was little. And then <laughs> these two. We rescued from West End Animal Shelter. Remember when Sunny was in here, we crate trained him. He peed on our new carpet twice, and that was it. I mean, he never peed. Do you remember how, how annoyed we were with the do one dog, and now we have yeah. two dogs? So we had him in the crate in the corner over there, and he whimpered like two nights. And after that, I think we took him out, and then he never peed in the house again. He did really good. Really good. Both the dogs were really good. Yeah. And then Bruce, we didn't have him very long, but it was after Christmas, and then he was throwing up blood all over our carpet. You can't see the stains really anymore. But we thought he was going to be a goner when we took him to the animal hospital. But okay. Yeah, he ended up being okay. So, that worked out. We redid these doors. We had nasty old glass doors. You know, my dad put these closets in and then we added this little beauty trim right here. And then all the blinds we added in. Same thing over here. We changed out the door. Another bathroom that we added. The cabinets and the countertops match downstairs. It made it look a lot nicer. It was really gross in here before. Yeah. Just the bathroom and then a tub in there. Colton took his first baths in there. Yeah. As a big boy. Huh, Colton? Yeah. Yeah. Big boy. Yeah. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Everything's all loose and 
backyard. Coverage for sprinklers in here. Second bathroom. Really tall ceilings in here. Newborn pictures right here. The newborn from the hospital. Yeah, hospital pictures are pretty good for hospital pictures. Yeah. Colton's room. Colton showed I remember you. putting this stuff up. It's crazy to see that we're moving now. No kids yet. And then my sister and my mom helped us put this up. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Just weird, like not knowing what to expect with our first kid and wondering his, what he was gonna be like. And now he's, you know, he's just a crazy psychopath. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, it's so different when you have your second or the second and third. I guess. Yeah, it's a lot easier after the first one. Put this new fan in. It was really gross in here. They had a. Whoa! You got your cowboy hat on. There's a lot of uh, wallpaper around. We had to take all that stuff down. That was the project. This is the only bathroom we didn't touch. Everything is like still well, we original. Did the hair, we put the, the Besides painting hair. the cabinet stuff. But yeah, my dad and I we had a little trim on here. The UV rim. And then uh, we added these lights in. And I put in this towel rack. The twins' room. We didn't really do anything in here. No. It just had uh, ballerina bears. Yeah. Some gross wallpaper in there again. And I need the signs. I put these up for the cameras that we never even got to use them. But yeah, Kayla made these custom signs for them, so it's cowboy themed. And when I was making their cribs, I accidentally cracked our brand new fan. Oh. Ain't ours now. Show their little sheets and their little mobiles. Their what? We got this from our buddy at work. I know you watch the video, so thank you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. We use actually, yeah, my wife uses it every night. Feed them right here and uses the chair, so it really helped us out. The house is cool with the high ceilings and everything. Yeah. It's hot in here during the summer. <laughs> what other stories do we have in here? Uh, we had a bookend that Colton shoved off here and exploded on the floor. And then he went to grab the second one and throw it off, but stopped him in time. He's taking quite a few tumbles down the stairs. Yeah, he likes to fall down the stairs. Whoa! Whoa, Colton! So, we just gotta pack everything up and move on to the rental. We signed the papers yesterday. We took some stuff, but we're trying to help our parents move at the same time. So it's taking a little bit longer. So I think we're gonna clean, make one trip and clean over there. And find out yeah. Get yeah. So the goal today is at least get the pictures and stuff off the wall. Put your hat on, like this. Yeah, cowboy. Ooh, yeah, I guess we gotta film the backyard, huh? Oh yeah, let's go to the backyard. Can you pick Where you spend up? all your time. Yeah, I Call and show us how you go down the stairs. Come on, go backwards. Let's go backwards. Let's go outside. Call and show us how you go down the stairs. Hey. You gotta start going down and he'll go down. Come on, Colton. Do, do, do. Good job. Big boy. All right, Sunny, show us how you go down the stairs. Whoa. 
Whoa, good job. Come on. Do do do. Do do. Come on. Let's go outside. This was a good kitchen. We did a lot of meal prepping in here. If anybody is watching, and a tip: don't get a black stove. Because you can see every little dirty thing that goes on there. And don't get this kind of fridge either because we don't use the water thing so it kind of wastes a lot of space. Well, yeah, if you don't use the water then it wastes the whole section. But we're going to take that with us. We're leaving everything else here. Oh, the backsplash. We added this in too. Yeah. So my grandma hired someone and then we ended up firing him halfway through because he wasn't doing a good job. And then my dad and I finished it. <laughs> and remember he brought his pit bull over? Yeah, he brought his pit bull over and he ruined the little bit of plants we had in our backyard. Made a big old mess and then didn't even care. He wanted us to pay him. Yeah, the pipes in the back. Oh, and also when we first moved in, whoever was cooking in here before would just dump the grease down the sink. So first time we ran the laundry and ran the dishwasher at the same time, all the water came out of the sink in the kitchen and our brand new uh, cupboards and everything. So that was a whole ordeal having to get the warranty out here to fix it and snake the pipes. But we ended up getting it done. So in the Colton video you could see this when we got all this grass. It was just dirt back here, weeds. We added all this stuff in. Made it look a lot nicer. We need to get they need new wood chips though, but it'll look good if they spruce it up. Over here we were gonna make a dog run area. Put a fence right here against the wall where the grass ends. We never got to that either. So, just stays like this. Added all this stuff in. These big old thorns on here. Big, huge thorns. Colton never got stabbed with those, so that's good. It was a really good first house. We got really lucky with this house. I love our backyard too. Yeah, I do too. With these big trees and everything. Makes it nice. Oh, it might just run up there. Flower bed. Looks like Bigfoot when he's running around. But it's time to move on. It's a bittersweet moment. But I'm excited to get out of here. We'll move on to something better. Even the rental house that we have is it's a lot bigger and it's cheaper than our mortgage now. So we'll be saving some money before we move out of the state. Bought this at Bass Pro Shop for Colton because he was really into wind chimes when he was little. Yeah, and fishies. Yeah, GG's. GG's. It's time to start packing. <laughs>